check it. And you know, I checked that account. I checked that account, and you know, the money was in there. So I was like, oh, the money, oh, the money in there. I got yo, I gotta go, I gotta go to the bank. I got panda, 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 panda. I got brides in Atlanta. She took the lead in the family. Credit cards in the scammers. Getting the licks in the van. Legacy. Hey y'all, uh, <laughs> a long time no see, you feel me? Um, nah, uh, yeah, it's been a minute since I made a video. Hold on, hold on, I'll be right back. Two thousand years later. Alright, but yeah, it's been a long time since I made a video. And in those it's been like months it's been months and in those months a lot has happened and one of those things that's happened is this pretty much what the title says is how i got me a sugar mama or had me a sugar mama because i don't got i don't got her no more but uh well this is how i got me a sugar mama so what had so what first what had started was i was home and one of my friends texted me talking about they're tired of being broke and they're tired of they're tired of not having no money to get food and whatever they want and stuff like that so she said that she was gonna get her a sugar daddy and um at first i thought she was you know insane because like there's really not a lot of people who especially nowadays who's about to just send you money so she said, nah, there's this app where it's only for people looking for sugar mamas and sugar daddies and sugar babies and all that other stuff. So um, she she got on the app, at least she, from what I know, she got on the app. So when she got on the app, I was like, you feel me? Um, I'm about to, you know, I'm about to go try it out, see if I can get me a sugar mama. So I got on the app. And I did all the sign in and do all this information stuff and whatever. And a couple days went by and then I got me I got me someone that was like, yo, I see you looking for a sugar mama, I'm looking for a sugar baby. What's good? And I'm just praying for it. It's, it's that's not literally the conversation. But uh so I was like, yeah, I'm looking for a sugar mama. I'm trying, you feel me? Like I I'll give you my time, my attention for that money. She was like, all right, cool. I'll give you $400 a week. I was like, what? Oh yeah, say no more. I'm Say no more, $400 a week, cool. So at this point, I'm hyped. I'm so hyped. I had to call my bro, AJ. You feel me? I face I FaceTimed him, you feel me? I was like, yo, bro, uh, this don't talk about $400 a week. And uh, you know, I'm about to get this money. You already know it's about to happen when you get this money. You feel me, bro? So I was hyped. And then, uh, it didn't really go $400 a week. Time went by and things. And uh, uh, she finally sent me money. And it was like eight, 18, 18,000. It was, no, 18, no. 1,800. 1, so it's in my bank account. But the way my bank account is set up. Because the way that my bank account is set up. The way my bank account is set up. Because the way that my bank account is set up, it takes when it you get a certain amount that you can digitally like deposit a check off the phone, like mobile deposit. You can only mobile deposit a certain amount. So it took time for the thing, the process for them to check in all that stuff. And at first, it said that if at first it said it, it went in, but I couldn't use it. So I'm thinking in my head, oh, she. You know what I mean? I didn't get no money. She just faked me and whatever, whatever. And it said I wouldn't get, I wouldn't get, be able to touch the money until a whole next month, like a whole month later. And I was like, damn, I just got fooled. I just got scammed. I ain't getting no money, whatever, whatever. So I wait that whole, so like I'm every day I'm checking my account, seeing like, yo, is this about to go through? Is this about to go through? So, but even though I was checking it in my head, I was like, yo, I just got scammed, whatever. But I was still talking to her just to like, just to make sure like, 
like yo i'm still trying to get this money so i was still you feel me i was still conversating with the person and um that whole month went by and that date that date came up that they said it was gonna come through i checked it i checked on that day i checked it didn't come through so i was like damn i just got scams i was so mad i didn't even i didn't talk to nobody nothing i was so mad but at the time that i checked it it would it was like 10 10 o'clock at night it was like 10 o'clock so it really it really wasn't the date it was still the day before but it was supposed to come on the 10th but the time that i checked it it was late to me it was late i didn't know what time it was but i checked it and i guess it, it didn't hit 12 yet but when i checked it it still didn't say that it was it so i'm thinking i got scammed i didn't get the money so i didn't at this time like people sleep people's already asleep so i just i was like forget it i'm going to sleep i go straight to sleep i wake up the next day i'm like bruh you never know let me check it just let me check it one more time so i check it i check it and you know i checked that account i checked that account and you know the money was in there so i was like oh the money oh the money in there i got you i gotta go i gotta go to the bank i got because i gotta go to the bank so because here's here's the thing i had to go to the bank i had to go to the bank because when i made my bank account i was under age i was i didn't hit 18 yet i was 18 so my parents still could see my account and I was not trying to let them see the, the money all up in there so what I did was I skirt myself to the bank skirt, skirt, all the way to the bank and I left some of the money in there just to you know just so it wouldn't be alarming to them you feel me so I left some money in there and the rest of it I took out in cash I think I took like um I think it was like four I think it was like four, four, 14 to 1600 I took out in cash. I took it straight out in cash. So, you know, when you, I, you got, when you got that fresh money in your hand, you know, you feel me? You just, <laughs> that in your hand. So I'm like, oh, gotta go. I'm going straight to cut, you know? The say to cut. I got, you know, I got the, oh, honey, 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 in the hand, you feel me? So I, I'm, I'm just sitting there. I'm, I'm sitting there and all like, oh, I just got this buddy. Oh, what? I'm like, oh, bet. She's sending me money. I gotta keep talking to her. So I went straight on it. Dude, what's up with you, Shitty? What's up with you, Miles? It's good. Yeah, I got the money. Yeah, you know, what's good with you? How's your date? Nah, I'm talking. You feel me? So I was like, oh, I got the, got the money. You know what I do? Call, I said, bro, AJ, I got it. Yo, I got it, bro. You feel me? I got the bands, bro. He's like, oh, where? Let's go. We get lit. I'm like, nah, but we can't get lit. I gotta, I gotta, you know, secure it for real. I gotta make sure, you feel me, that I keep getting it. So I was like, so instead of just, you feel me, going out and spending the whole, the whole joint on crazy stuff and just wilding. Um, oh my breath. Um, but uh, so I, I tucked it. You feel me? I tucked it. But you know, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still hyped. So. I'm still hyped, and it, I did get the money off off nothing. So I, I, I the, the 1600 that I did save, I split it. I saved that sum, and then the other sum, you feel me, was out spending junk. So we was out there, you feel me? So we was, so was me and the bro, we was out there, you feel me? We was, we was doing what we do, you feel me? We was out there, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna say nothing because uh, it's not legal, it's not legal. But we was, we was, we was out there, you feel me? And uh, so after after we was done, after we was done uh, having fun or whatever, after we was done having fun, uh, I started I started getting stuff for the crib. You feel me? I got me a new TV, got me uh, my brother PS4. Um, so we I was just you feel me, just having fun, and then and then uh. After time went by, I'm I'm trying to get I'm just trying to get more money. I'm trying to get the money more, and then I see that she's not trying to give it to me. But no, okay, let me rephrase it. She was trying she was trying to give me the money, but when she would when she tried to make me send her half of that money somewhere else, like she would give me like she said she would send me a thousand dollars, 
But 500 that 500 of those dollars was for me. 500 of those dollars was for me to send it somewhere else and do all this other stuff. So I was like, hmm, this don't sound right. This gonna mess up my stuff. So what I did was I opened another account. Open another account. I was like, look, send all the money here. This to do, 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 whatever. Send all the money here, and whatever happened, I'll handle it. So I made that account. She sent the money there, and then she started pressing me like, I send the money tomorrow. You gotta go get in and send it there. I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, I sent it. I, my my person sent it. I send it today. Tomorrow, you gotta go get it and send it. I'm like. What? I mean, I know banks don't work like that. When you do a deposit, whatever, especially mobile deposit, you got to check it, make sure it's cleared, everything. So I'm like, nah, I'm going to wait till it, you feel me, it's cleared up. And it was in there. It said it was in the account. So I'm like, nah, I'm going to wait. I, I'm not trying. So she was like, no, you got to do it today. You got to do it tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, nah. Now, now at this point, I'm like, yo, this got to be a scam. It's, it's a scam. So I'm like, so I'm like, uh. I'm not doing it. So uh, the very next, I, it, I'm gonna say the very next day, but a couple of days after that. Um, but every day, mind you, every day I, well, I was checking it. It was still there. The account was still there. It was it's still there. Everything was good. So a few days after that, a few days after that, I was about to go to the go to the bank, deposit the money, and um, so. I tried to check my account and it kept saying I put my password everything and kept saying password denied something wrong something wrong so I was like nah it can't be right I know this is the password so I called him I was like yo it's not letting me in my account blah 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 so they asked me yo what's their account blah blah so I told him they was like oh yeah your, your account's been shut down because the first check was a fraud my heart dropped I said what they said yeah, the first check was a fraud. I'm like, no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 I was so mad. I was so, I was so, so mad. And this check was $900. I was so mad, so mad. I had just came out of class from school. I thought I was about to get that bread. I was so mad. I started snap. I, I was so mad that I can't even blame the lady that told me. I was snap. I said, what? Nah, it's a, that's a mistake. There's no way. She's like, yeah, it's a fraud, blah, blah, blah. We shut your account down. I said, what? No, there's no way it's a fraud. No, she said, she said, uh, blah, 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 who sent you that? I, I was in there, feel me? I'm not trying to let this, I don't know this lady, so I'm not trying to give her all my business, trying to tell her I got shit in my business or whatever. So I'm like, I'm like, no, there's no way. It's a business, there's no way. She's like, it's a fraud. You better call the cops and do a lawsuit, whatever. And I'm like, damn. So I hung up the phone, hung up the phone on, on, the, on the bank lady. So I'm um, Heated. I'm in my car mad. I'm still in the school parking lot. So I'm snapping it. Everybody can see through my car scene. I'm snapping. So I'm texting it. I'm like, yo, the money you sent me was a fraud. You better, yo, you better tell you better tell me what it's good. Like I better get my money, blah blah blah. Snapping on it. She was like, what? Well, let me see if I still got the message. But she was like, what? Nah, what are you talking about? I'm like, it's a fraud. The check you sent me was a fraud. I better get my money. He took all my money to shut my account down. I'm like, I was mad. So she's like, nah, I'm gonna call my person, blah, blah, blah. Deuce, 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 and all this. And she said she was gonna handle it. So I'm like, yeah, you better handle it. So, uh, a couple days after that, after she said she was gonna handle it, he sent me another check. And this was to my first bank account. And this bank account, and I know how they work. If you mess, if something happened to the check that you you deposited, and like, it, uh, say the check bounced, say someone gave you a check and the check bounced, they would have to delete that check and the money that they just put because they put the money in your account before they completely check the, the check. So all the money that they put in your account, they would have to send it back, like do all this other stuff. So every time they do that, every time a check mess up. 
they take away twelve dollars off your account. And this time she sent me two thousand. She sent me two thousand. Two thousand dollars. I'm like, oh yes. I'm thinking like, oh yes, she about to give me that two thousand. All right, bet. And then it come in my account. It says it's in my account. So I go to the bank. And this is this is a stupid thing. I really went to the bank the next day try to deposit that money. I try to uh, withdraw that money. Excuse me, withdraw that money. I try to get the money. I go the very next day, and I go to the counter. And I say, "Yo, I'm trying to uh, withdraw some money." Blah, blah blah. So I put my put my card in, put my pen in, and I I said, "How much?" She said, "How much you want to take?" I said, two two thousand. All two thousand. She said, she started looking, she started squinting on the computer, blah, blah, blah. And then she looked at me, squinting on the computer. And you, and you, you feel me? When you at the bank and they looking, squinting, looking, look, you, that, that's not, that's not a good sign. That means something now. She was like, she was like, uh, who sent you this, who sent you this, um, who, who, who sent you this, who sent you this money? I said, uh, and I'm, I'm still not telling, I'm not telling nobody, none of my business. So I'm, I'm like, oh, uh, someone in the family sent it to me. They said, uh, why they send you four checks for 500? I said, I don't know. I was just supposed to come get the money. I gotta, you, I gotta do some stuff, whatever. And then she was like, uh, they just deposited it yesterday. It's better if you wait. So I'm like, all right, cool. It's better if I wait. Cause I'm not, I'm not trying to have the same thing happen before. So I wait, I wait a couple of days and tell every, every day I'm checking it. It's still in there, checking it, still in there. So I'm thinking it's cool. And then I check it, I check it another day, boom. All that 2000 is gone. Plus the $12 for each check. She sent four checks, so that was like 40 something dollars, almost $50. That plus, not not just 2000 plus the, the, the 12, the 40 something dollars, $48. And so I'm like, damn, not only did I just almost get scammed twice, they took $48 out of my account, bruh. $48 out of my account. So now I'm really here. So I, I'm telling I'm like, yo, they took money on my account. It was fraud, blah, blah. I'm, I'm done with you. She was like, what? What are you talking about? Just send me money. Blah, blah. I'm like, no, it was a fraud. Blah, blah, blah. So um, I keep, I try to call her. I'm like, yo, I try to call her. She answered the phone. She answered the phone. But, uh, I would say, I was like, I was snapping on the phone. I was like, yo, you sent me a fraud check, blah, blah, blah. Um, all this, this, and that. And then she was, she said one word. She said one word and that phone hang up. And I'm like, oh yeah, this, these are some scamming boys. These are some scamming people. So I was heated. I was so heated. Um, I didn't know what to do with myself. I was so mad. I came in the crib. I just locked myself in my room. And uh, that's pretty much it though. I was so mad, but I still got that 1800 though. You know what I mean? Yay! <laughs> you know I mean? I'm about to, you know, you feel me? I was nah, bro. No, I was mad. I was really mad. More of the story is, I guess if if I'm doing a moral of the story, uh, don't don't trust sugar mamas or sugar daddies. Uh, they're all scammers. You know I me, mean? but you know, I'm good. I'm still farming. I'm still farming one. Yeah, a good sugar mama, and get me them banzos. You feel me? And uh, get the chicle cheese. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. So I applaud you for your dreaming. For your running toward your dream, I applaud you for believing in yourself. Because that's what life is about. Stretching and challenging. Looking for ways that you can begin to improve yourself. Your dream is possible. <laughs> <laughs>